So you're a total newbie to email marketing and you want to start doing it for free, right? Can you even do it for free? Can you send emails to your audience and be able to set up automations and all that fun stuff and not cost you a cent? Yeah, you can. And there's a few different platforms that allow you to set up a free account. You're actually getting access to their platform, the tools, and there are some limitations with free accounts, but in this video, I'm gonna be sharing four tools you can be using totally for free. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm a brand and content strategist and love helping small business owners just like you build their brands online. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about four different platforms as well as a walkthrough of what it looks like inside their free accounts. So this is going to be a short little tutorial for you so you can get a bit of an overview and hopefully make a better decision as to which free platform you want to choose. Okay, so let's start with MailChimp. This is where I started my email marketing journey. I started with MailChimp in my business because the free account allows you to have 2000 subscribers, which when you're just starting out is pretty big and it still allows you pretty good functionality. The only caveat that I don't love that they've changed in recent years is that with the automations, you're only allowed to send one email in an automation. So this is probably for your welcome email, but things like your nurture sequence or sales funnel, you can't set those up in the free version, but at least you can set up a welcome email, which will be sent out to your subscribers straight away. If you don't know what to include in a welcome email, I do have a free template, which you can download below. So who is MailChimp for? Uh, generally, e-commerce businesses use MailChimp. There's a lot of integrations with the platform and it does talk to a lot of platforms like Shopify and WooCommerce and Squarespace and things like that. It's one of the older players in the market, so there's a lot of people using it. But in saying that, it can get quite expensive as your list grows or as you want to add more features. So say, for example, you want to send a five-part sales funnel, you've got to up grade straight away. All right, so diving into the platform, this is what it will look like when you are part of the free account. So you can easily create a campaign. Your audience is your subscribers. Um, and then your campaigns, is, this is where all your emails will be stored. So anything that you've sent or anything that's in draft as well. Uh, then you've got your email automations. So these a lot of these you won't be able to actually create as part of the free one but they obviously want to include them so then you're you know you're sort of encouraged to see what what you're missing out on <laughs> um and they've got a website builder which is relatively new and is something you get access to i'm sure there are certain things you won't be able to do on the free account but you do have access to be able to create landing pages and things like that, which is awesome. If you're just starting out, this could be a great solution for you because it's gonna give you everything in one platform. All right, so let's just dive into creating a campaign so I can kind of show you what your emails are gonna look like, how the templates that they use and so on. All right, let's see if we can just jump to this. All right, we wanna use, let's try the new builder. So this, I guess, is the standard template. And then you can click on templates and you can have a look at what other templates they offer. I mean, they're all pretty stock standard. Okay, so depending on what it is that you're including in your newsletter, you may decide you want images or maybe it's text only, or maybe you want a background color. Let's see. Yeah, so all these things are obviously customizable. I'm not gonna show you in depth how to do all that, but um, yeah, you can see that that is a possibility with your audience. You can add your contacts in here, create your sign up form. Um, they also provide a whole lot of learning opportunities. That's another cool thing about MailChimp is there is a lot of resources out there on how to's and even in their learning platform, there's even an accreditation you can get. So yeah, MailChimp's a good one if you're just starting out because it's gonna teach you everything as well. Next up, let's dive into MailerLite. I personally have never used this platform, but I would definitely recommend it. 
The free version of MailerLite is far superior to the other three platforms I'm going to be talking about in this video. And I think it's got some awesome integrations as well. So it's free up to a thousand subscribers, but you can send 12,000 emails. So what that means is you can actually be really building a relationship and nurturing your audience with, even though it's a smaller group of a thousand subscribers compared to MailChimp, you are not gonna be limited by how many emails you can actually send within a month. But when you're ready to jump to that paid plan, whether it's because you have more subscribers or want more um, tools, the pricing is just incredible. Like $9 a month is the starting point, which is unreal. And on the paid plans, you can even sell digital products, have paid newsletters and sell memberships. So depending on what your business is, you may not need an online platform like a Kajabi or a Thinkific or something else that allows you to create digital products, you may be able to just do it all through MailerLite, which is pretty cool. All right, so diving into the dashboard itself, this is what we look like. So, I mean, the cool thing about this is that it's really showing you an overview of where you're at, obviously. I have no subscribers and all that sort of stuff because this is just a dummy account. It's just a training account, but um, yeah. It looks really nice and clean. It's easy to understand. Campaigns, again, is where all your emails are gonna be stored. So we've not created one, so we will look at that in a minute. Subscribers, um, MailChimp call it audience, MailerLite call it your subscribers. You've got your segments, groups, etc. Forms, there's form builder. So you can create a pop-up form for your website. Um, and it will also allow you to do embedded forms. So on your website page itself, you can have a form there. And then under sites is where your landing page lives. So if you're wanting to create a sales landing page or a landing page for your form, maybe you've got a freebie or a, or a lead magnet that you're wanting to give away to new subscribers, then this is how you would create it. And then your automations. So this is where you set up your, your welcome email, your nurture sequence, your sales funnels, and so on. But for this video, let's keep it short and sweet. We'll just jump into campaigns and have a look. So we wanna create a regular campaign. AV split campaign is where you either have a piece of content that's different in each email, or maybe the subject line's different. Um, or maybe you send it to different segments. Um, an RSS campaign is whenever you update a blog, it will send out an alert to your subscribers. And then an auto resend just means that you can resend your email newsletter to your audience, but only to the people that didn't open it the first time. So you'll probably change a subject line and then try and entice more people to open it. But let's just click on regular campaign. Um, we'll just call it test next to the content. So let's see what their templates look like. I know this is something that you guys really want to know is what templates look like. So compared to MailChimp, these are way more heavily designed. These are, uh, if you're really wanting to create something that's looking more bespoke and design heavy, then this might be a better option for you as well. So who is MailerLite for? It's really for beginners. So it's really to get you into email marketing, to allow yourself to create this free account and then upgrade when you've hit that 1000 subscriber mark. It doesn't penalize you for not being a paid subscriber to their platform, which is really great because it means you can set everything up and get everything started and start getting subscribers and then you can start paying for their platform, which is super reasonable. I believe it's the cheapest in the market as well. Next up, we're going to talk about Clavio. This is a platform I haven't used, but it came up again and again in a little bit of research I did around what platforms people are using. And it's really well used in the e-commerce space. So if you're in e-commerce business, this one might be a good one to check out. So Clavio combine email marketing and SMS, which is why e-commerce, this is a really nice one for you. It does have super limited amount of access if you are only on the free account. So you're only allowed 250 email subscribers and only allowed to send 500 emails a month, which means sending two emails to each subscriber one 
uh, a month, which isn't a lot really compared to some of the other platforms. But then it does give you the ability to see what a platform would look like if you're combining email marketing and text and with a free account you do get 150 sms credit so depending on where you're sending these sms's depends on how many texts you actually get but you do have that as an option to test out whether you want to integrate sms marketing into what you're doing already but once you reach a threshold where you do need to pay for an account with Clavio, you can choose whether you just want email or you want email and text. So obviously the email and text version is a lot more expensive than the, just the straight email version. So this is what the platform looks like when you've just basically signed up. So say we've got a Shopify website. I don't have, uh, I'll do this later. Uh, how many contacts do you have? Let's do less than a thousand. So what is our top business goal? Grow audience, build customer relationships, earn more, say earn more revenue because we're an e-commerce business. We're quite focused on sales. Okay, so as you can see straight away, this is super in line with an e-commerce business. So you're going to be able to integrate everything straight off the bat set up your abandoned cart and your welcome series. So it's really prompting you to get these things off, off the ground straight away, which is amazing. I love that. I love platforms that make the tech simple and allow you to set it up in a really easy way and make, give you that step-by-step -step breakdown of where you should be going next. Okay, so campaigns, like we've talked about before, is your email newsletters. Flows is the automation. So just another terminology there. Email templates. So. Uh, they'll be the templates that we can choose from. Let's have a quick look at those. Okay, so super basic design, uh, unlike MailerLite where it was quite heavily design centric, these ones are gonna require a bit of customization on your behalf because they're super basic. But as you can see, it is quite e-commerce centric. It's image based. So if you are a E-commerce business, 100%, I agree. Uh, images are really important in your emails. If you're a service-based business though, I wouldn't recommend a lot of images. Once you add an image to your email, it is gonna be flagged, especially by Gmail, to go into the promotions tab, which if someone's on a desktop is probably not the part of their email that they're gonna be accessing as often. Just something to consider with e-commerce, I think email uh, images are 100% required though. And then we've got sign up forms. All right, so the sign up forms look great. They're heavily designed and they're really focused around e commerce. Again, you got the discount. For e commerce businesses, for the most part, either a discount or free shipping is going to be your best lead magnet, as in the best way for you to grow your email list. So if you can have a pop up come up and offer something either for free, a discount, or free shipping, then that is going to be how you're going to grow your email list. Okay, so SMS conversations. So these are the types of SMSs you might wanna create around abandoned cart, new product, and two-way messaging, which, yeah, looks really cool. Lists and segments is just your email list with all your contacts. Great, cool. And finally, the last platform I want to share with you is Send in Blue. So again, not a platform I have used personally, but it did come up as a really popular free option. So who's it for? Well, for all businesses, but it does have a skew towards e-commerce or some sort of online sales with a drive to scale your business. So the pricing is based on how many emails you send, not how many contacts you have, which is what the other platforms talk to more is around, you know, you've got this many subscribers in your free account. This is you have 2000 emails you can send within the free account. So as an e-commerce business, especially this could get eaten up very quickly with abandoned cart emails and other sort of nurture sequences and things like that. But say you are sending out an email newsletter twice a month, it means you can have up to a thousand subscribers. If you are wanting to send out SMSs as part of your strategy, you'll have to add this as an add on to your free account with send in blue is, isn't included as part of the free plan. But the other things it does offer is a chatbot on your website and also a CRM. 
So let's dive into Send in Blue. So this is what the dashboard looks like when you first jump in. Um, it's telling me what I need to do next, which is really nice to see. Um, send our first email campaign. So let's have a look. So email. I'm guessing this is campaigns, which is what we've said in all the other platforms. Yep. So let's create an email campaign. Let's call it test. And then let's just look at the design for now. So the templates are pretty basic. They're not super design centric, but I mean, they give you an idea of what you could be using these emails for or these layouts for, which is great to see. Um, and you can obviously start from scratch as well. Um, oh, here's the template gallery. Oh, great. Awesome. So this will be a nice way for you to sort of see how you can create a designed based email and how you can position your messaging for your subscribers. Great. All right. So let's go to automation. It looks like their automations are super focused around a CRM, which means a customer relationship management function. So it means that they are going to be creating customers in your backend and which allows you to add different attributes to those customers. So maybe you need to follow up with someone or maybe you can add particular descriptions to that person as well. So it can take control of all your transactional emails as well. So it means that say if you've got a platform like Shopify and you're sending, you know, order confirmation, order shipping, those sorts of things, this platform can actually take control of all that for you as well if you are an e-commerce business. And then contacts is just your subscribers, which you can see here. And we've got our forms under contacts. Let's just see what the form designs look like in this platform as well. Okay, so super basic. There's not really any design like we were seeing in Clavio, which has those really great pop-up designs. This one's a lot more basic. So what do you think? Are you gonna test out one of these free accounts? I would highly recommend MailerLite if you're more of a service-based business or you're creating content and sharing content with your audience, building your expert authority. But if you are looking at a e-commerce based platform, maybe something like Clavio might be a good place to start because you can start to test out SMSs as well. So I'd love to know what you think. If you've used these platforms before, comment below. And if you're gonna test them out, let me know as well. So that's it for me for today. I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I have another video I'm gonna be sharing very soon that I know you're gonna love. So until then, bye for now.